What's up everybody? Welcome back to Jacob in Motorsports. If you're new here, this is our 2020 MK 7.5 GTI and it is currently a stage 2 plus all the beans and boost sauced. Um, we got the IS38 full bolt-ons, but today we're going to be upgrading the high pressure fuel pump because the stock one is just not good enough. So this is integrated engineering's high pressure fuel pump system upgrade internals not the full high pressure fuel pump as you can see here we're going to be taking it apart and just replacing the internals now this will be more than enough fueling to get us to flex fuel and all kinds of other things we want to do um, and then you will also need a tool to pull apart the internals so shout out to 034 motorsports i will link all these products in the description down below but we're going to get right into it and I'll show you all the tools you need and how to do this. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we looked up um, the fuse box diagram for the Golf um, MK7. So, number 10 is a 15 amp fuse. If you come over here, it's going to be this top fuse right here. You're going to pull that out and what you're going to do is run the car until it shuts off because you pulled the fuse pump or a fuel pump fuse and you want all that high pressure to get out of your fuel pump so when you take the lines off it doesn't spray over and get in your face. So that's the first step and we're going to do that right now. Okay, that's a 15 amp, looks good. Here, the very top one. We're just going to run the car until it dies and then turn it off, the ignition off, and we'll be good. All right, our car literally took like 30 seconds to turn off, so that's, that's good. So somebody else said that we should disconnect the battery so that we don't accidentally, you know, turn the system back on somehow and apply some sort of pressure. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery so then we're completely dead there. All right, so we gotta disconnect our wiring connection here. And if you just take a small flat head, you can lift it up off that tab. Voila. Okay. Okay. Just dripping a little fuel, not much. Cool, so that did the trick by relieving the pressure when we disconnected the fuse box. So. All right, so we're going to disconnect this hard line on the bottom. It's a 17 mil, so we'll break that loose. And then we'll actually remove the line once we remove these uh, fasteners here. And we'll, we'll turn this counterclockwise at the same time trying to wiggle that line loose. So that broke that loose pretty easy. Now we need our 10 millimeter triple squares for these. And if you don't know what a triple square is, these right here, you can get them at AutoZone, a kit, 20 bucks. And this is our 10 mil right here. Definitely need a set of these when you have a Volkswagen. All right, so we're gonna crack these loose. Okay, not much on there. I think it's like 20 newtons. Yeah, it was really light from the specs that I read. So we'll be sure to verify that though. All right, so I'm gonna try to turn this counterclockwise. We're still bleeding off some fuel pressure there. All right, so we got it loose. Okay, so it came out. So this is what we're after right here. So this shaft in here, we've gotta get out and replace. That's that special tool we bought that fits inside here. Before we get that out, we have to compress this spring, remove that keeper, and then this will this will disassemble. Then we can use that tool and get that out of there. So, from IE, this kit was $449. Now, that may be expensive for you um, as to other options on the market, but with IE, you know you're gonna get good quality every single time. We have never been let down by them. Customer support is amazing. Everything is made extremely well. All these pieces are just amazing. 
and some instant parts cleaner degreaser. We just want to make sure this thing is nice and clean, no debris. Not only when we disassemble it, but when we put it back together. So I should be wearing gloves, kids. Don't do like I do. So our parts in the vise. And what I'm using is a valve spring compressor, just like an automotive valve spring compressor. And we have it over that piece right there, that spring. And we're basically going to compress that spring down until the retainer doesn't have any pressure on it so that we can pop it up out of there. That's the goal. If it doesn't work, then I'll update you guys with something else we're going to try. So this technique actually worked very well. So you apply the pressure to the spring and you do a double screwdriver method and you basically just bloop, pop that ring out. Good. Better than all the other methods I've seen. So this is where our special tool comes into place. Um, this piece in here uh, from 034 fits directly in there just like that. And it's a nice tight fit, not like some of these Amazon ones. Uh, what was that other company that was super loose that people complained about? Uh, we can leak it on there, but yeah. this is the one. We would have got it from IE, but when I went on their website, they were back ordered, so I needed it in a hurry, and these guys 034 had it. <clears throat> there it goes. Stripped. Shut up. This is getting replaced. This all stays in there. It has like a special coating on it. You can see that's been worn through. So okay. what makes this an upgrade is that it's a tighter tolerance. So it builds more pressure. And that's what the high pressure fuel pump is supposed to do. But the stock one is only good for so much pressure. This has up to 35% more flow and that is because of the precision machining that IE does. So look at the inside. Actually, it's a bigger shaft. So look at the, the ID on that, and then look at the inside diameter on the OE one. Clearly a big difference on the size of the shaft, and we'll compare them here. Let's look at that. That's what she said. Dang. The guy she tells you not to worry about? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Was the old piece that was in the center of this and IE provides the new one because it is a bigger diameter like we showed you so old piece old piece new piece new pieces this is the part we need to carefully do clean make sure that shaft's clean lube it with oil and everything all right so we're cleaning all our new pieces really really make sure that these are clean oh all right, all right. so we're just adding a little bit of lubrication in here i got a clean glove adding some uh, motor oil just because we're going to start it up as soon as we put it back in we're going to prime it usually grease is good for a uh, long term up long term installation like you're, you're going to wait a day or so uh, you don't really want grease because it could clog up also in your injectors so just keep that in mind There, a little oil bath. How about that? And now that's much. lubed. This should go on. And you don't. You want to make sure the uh, there's a. It's a special seal in here, super tight fitting, and you don't want to like wobble it on there. You want to get it as straight as possible. That seal right there. Show it. Oh, a little lube in there. I'd say that felt good. Now we're going to be tightening this. Now there is no torque spec like I said, but just get this thing nice and tight. Okay, that's good and tight. Alright, so I guess we will be the first to make a video on IE's high pressure fuel pump install, like a detailed installation. So, this actually is how it goes on. Uh, we just had to look up a couple diagrams and pictures, 
Uh, so don't be scared when you could pull the, the mechanism up and down. Uh, so it'll get tight with fuel pressure and sitting inside the, the little position in there. It'll get tight in there. What are you going to say? I was going to say, so this, this retainer clip it doesn't really put tension on the spring the shaft is long enough to go down in past that seal then this retainer goes in on top of the spring and just holds it at a set position but it's not like the factory one where you had a pressed on um, retainer yeah so this is not pressed on it's not holding the spring under any tension here. it'll hold the tension of what the Once pump produces place. yeah and that's what we want. And that's what we wanted to know. So now you guys know. So now we're just gonna go ahead and put it back in the car. People. So right now, you're gonna need two people for this. So you're gonna wanna put the pump on and orient it this way so that the, the brass fitting is facing towards the right side. So a little counterclockwise. Yeah, counterclockwise, like we pulled it off. And then you're gonna take your finger and kind of bend this line and move it so it fits up in that brass just, fitting. Just prying it a little, Yeah. because it's a solid line. And then once this thing clocks into position, that fitting will go right into place is what we hope. Yep. Like spring pressure. Here, let me get a couple of bolts. All right, so now we're gonna fasten it down. We're gonna put the 10 millimeter triple squares back in, and this thing will set down in place. And because this is not tension from the factory, um, all the spring pressure is when you put it back on. So that's, we need to snug it down with those two bolts to apply that pressure and get it seated correctly. And that is a ball fitting. So that swivels and have some movement and then that's when you screw it on. Let's just get these snug for a second. So we, we need to put our electrical clip back on and then we need to do our this fuel line and this fuel line. Let's do the easy part. Clip. Voila. Now we're going to go and torque that top piece. I'll put the torque spec on the screen and then we're going to torque that down. Just torque that. Super light. We put the fuse back in, but we haven't connected the battery. So we're gonna do the new IE tune. I'll show you guys that, and then how to prime the system properly. Okay, so, okay, so now we are connecting to the power link, and we are gonna flash the 91 high pressure fuel pump for IS38. And we're just waiting for this to link up. So you have a, a checklist, make sure all these categories are checked. Make sure your phone's over 20% battery life. Mm -hmm. Continue. Now you're gonna see your tunes load up. IS38 is right here with high pressure fuel pump. So we uh, went through, clicked the high pressure fuel pump. We didn't have to buy credits actually, it's free. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, plug it in on the charger and uh, begin the flash. All right, we're flashing now. It's gonna take a little while. All right, just finished the flash. Letting the car run. Seems to be running really great. No problems, no leaks. So this was an A-plus install. I'll make sure to list everything we used and all the tools I have so that you guys can do it too. Um, people say that it's a hassle, but the only hard thing was that little pin. And if you get the right uh, compressor, valve spring compressor, you'll be good, golden. All right, so it runs smoothly. So we're gonna have a video of us driving it in the next video. Um, but if you guys like this video, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, turn those post notifications on so you can see more videos like this. If you found it helpful, comment down below share your experiences but as of now we're done 
So see you guys in the next video.